Alright guys, welcome back to the second part of Before Your Eyes. I really hope you enjoyed the first one. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing what's going to happen in my life as Benny. Um, and yeah, I'm about to try out some um, piano play for a new school. Uh, my mom wants me to play the piano. I kind of want to hang out with Chloe. But let's see uh, what happens. And we're ready to go. What's going on? Oh. Lights out. You oh. need to be rested for tomorrow. Okay. Memory consolidates when you're asleep. Yes, so ma'am. Go to sleep now. You will awaken a master. Trust me. Oh. Off. You closed the door? Turn the lights off. I did, but I still have my lava lamp. Answer. Sneak out? I okay, I'm, I'm sorry. I... <laughs> I wait too much respect for my parents. I'm not going to sneak out. Oh my god. Yeah, I got this. Heck yeah! <clears throat> In your own time, Benjamin, we are very excited to hear. Thank you! <clears throat> you want me to sing as well? I can do that. My heart's beating. Oh, but it's going pretty well, though. Ooh. Hey. I'm guessing if I snuck out, it would have been harder. To do this? It's just a wild guess. If he doesn't let you in after that, I'm not even sure I'd want you at that school. And I can tell oh, him, Mom. Be so much fun up there. You rehearsed enough that it felt Um oh, oh, sorry, I didn't mean to. I'm not worried about who you are, Benny. I'm worried about who you're going to become. When we get back, let's make Dad up and go down to the beach. What do you say? Well, I want to celebrate. Now? Smell that air. It's late. It's a beautiful night. It's so late. <laughs> you really nailed it, kiddo. It's not a matter of <gasps> He sounded like a professional musician. At 11 years old. <laughs> now that's your mother saying that. You know, she doesn't consider kids to be professional musicians. <laughs> because mm. they're not. What are you talking about? Performers, yeah. Musicians? I'm in my own world. They are not musicians. Destroyer Tour, Anaheim, July 81. I'm telling you, Ace. I know I can't stay. You should have seen the look on that old jerk's face when he realized what he had on his hands. And he was impressed? Printers! His dentures nearly fell out, his mouth is open so wide. <laughs> <laughs> ah, so I'm what? glad they're having fun. What am I spelling? How many beers have you had, Richard? It was a beautiful night, will you? <laughs> oh, I am. Believe I'm too slow. We should do this more. Oh, is it saying stay here? With someone like this, we should be doing Oh. Oh. Every night. I love it. How do you know? I love you, mom and dad. Don't have to open it right now if you don't want to. Oh! I mean, of course he wants to. I just don't want him to feel pressure. Ooh, sure. I'll open it. Open it whenever you want. <gasps> Thank you for interest. Uh, uh, giving carefully consideration your application. Oh. What does it say? 
I can't read. Despite an impressive odd, we regret to cannot. Don't pressure him. He'll tell us once he's ready to tell us. Hey, that's the main thing. It's just a school. It's nothing. Aww. We want him home from school for a while. Oh. Just until this nasty thing clears. What happened? Hey, El, would you mind taking a quick walk with me down to my office? There's Doct a small clerical thing I need you to look at before I can let you two go. Oh, but I want to know. Doctor, I want to know. Back, Benny, okay? Just maybe five minutes, kiddo. Okay? Do I not have the right to know? Ah, I want to know what's going on. As a nurse, I would like to know. This is a crucial time in his development. He shouldn't be confined to his room. Yeah, I mean, having him home for a little means I can spend more time with him. Can't hear them. You know? We can focus him. Make sure he's staying engaged. Can you please try to speak a little softer? Okay, I don't know what's with me. I'll probably figure out. I don't know. Ooh. Pretty. Why am I here? Is Chloe here? Ah. <sighs> I just want to appreciate this for a few seconds. Mm. Ooh, this PlayStation. Is video game time. I want you to figure out something actually productive to do while you're home from school. <laughs> what else? It's productive to play games. What do you mean? I want to play. I want to play. I want to play Overwatch. My boat! <gasps> I need to keep my boat! Okay. Fine, whatever. I'm keeping the boat. <gasps> I can draw the boat now! Woo! Look at me! It's June. It's almost summer vacation. Oh, it's October. I really love to. Oh. Yeah, I hear you. I'm drawing. I'm proud of my drawings. I can only draw a boat, though. Ooh. Wait, is January? Mr. Benjamin Grin has been awarded first place. So good. For what? I really gotta thank you for this, Benny. Emma Bills is so pissed that weird camera kid won over her multiple horse portrait that she literally just left with her dad in here. Okay. I don't care. Arts. Oh, art school! <gasps> Whoa, that's so cool. <gasps> oh, well, I'm supposed to write something. Oh, damn. <gasps> you are not here to learn to be painters. You are here to learn to be artists. And although I was hired to teach you, it is a sham. There is no teaching art. So don't just sit there slack, Jod! Be rude! I painted! Ponies! Oh. I painted everything! Okay. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, how very wacky and fun these are. I will fix this for you. It's very zany. <laughs> very <cute. laughs> Okay, sorry. Can I draw something else? There you go, Mr. Brin. 
Oh, very artsy. So artsy, I can't even. It looks like a sheep. I'm getting worse. I'm on drugs. Help. I want you all to take a long look at what Mr. Brin has done here. But I'm on drugs. You see, <laughs> he has reached down deep within himself and created a masterpiece. I don't get art at all. I pray you have a stronghold on yourself, Mr. Brin. For I fear the talent like these, you may soon be swept away by. <gasps> no! <gasps> Am I selling it? Oh my god. I'm stunned. The ironic sincerity of this piece is so sincerely ironic. He split the discourse so thoroughly, I'm actually dizzy. I... Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> I know that lots of Asians gave you lots of cards. Ooh. It all probably feels weird and alienating and the opposite of what being a starving artist is supposed to feel like. But if I can teach you one thing, it's that if opportunity knocks, open the door. Making a living isn't selling out. I wish I had thought of it that way. Thank you. Hi, Chloe. Benjamin, marvelous show last week. Truly stunning. My, thank you. You should look at my new painting. It's amazing. I'm an artist now. You're not selling your soul. Are you trying to hire me? Ah, uh, I don't know what the contract says, I've but I'll scribble. About you. We're going to make a lot of money together. Yes. <clears throat> What's up, to Mom? Actually, making some money with one's art. Clunk. Lord knows I could never do it. Oh, I think you're so good, Mom. I loved your piano pieces. I want to paint you, Mom. So, now that you've made it, tell me, what are you going to do with it? I don't know. That's my answer. My short answer. <clears throat> Can I switch it up? I love this one. Love, love, love. It's completely the same. No one can tell me otherwise. Hey, honey. Your work's incredible. The new stuff is wowing us all. <gasps> wow. Oh my god, my painting. <laughs> If you have eyes, you will love this show. How about if you go back to your roots? Paint something meaningful. Personal. Okay, I'll paint my mom. Please. I really want to paint my mom. Don't even pick up this call, okay? I mean it. I'm just calling to inform you that I went to the doctor today. And, well, I'm, I'm going to be a little sick for a while. But really, I, I don't want you worrying about it at all. You're at such an important moment in your career, and I'm just so proud of you. This is they answered. a bump in the road for me. I'm going to be fine. Okay? So don't even worry about calling me back. Just let you know. No, but I answered. I love you. I love you too. I want to call back. But I pressed. But that's enough for me. Now <gasps> you'll hear from the person who I believe was the single thing in the world my no. life was most proud of. But I answered the call, but the game Andrew wouldn't Lopez, let me. So to speak. Huh. I think you all know who I'm talking about. Benny. 
Ready to come up here? Oh. I'm so sorry. Oh my god. Oh. Go on, B. Say something. Oh. What's wrong? Why aren't you talking? I want to say something, but the game won't let me choose. Oh. No. Hey, honey. Guess who's calling? Again? Look. You know, I talk to big, important people. People who could change your life every day. Can't even what paint the hell her. Am I supposed to say? What do you want me to say? That I haven't heard from my star client in six months? This is I getting can't ridiculous. Paint. You've got to get it together. Love you lots. <sighs> Oh no! This hey. is what I'm drawing. Benny. Guess who's calling? Oh. Well, here's I know it's you, Where but I Where still can't paint. It's over. Hey B. Just calling to tell you. I think I'm still in the house. No, is that my dad? I can't move without bumping oh. into her. And then I just find myself breaking down again. Oh. I hope you understand. I do, but can I go back home? Take whatever you want. Hi, Dad. Oh my God! Oh live without all the clutter. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I think you did the right thing. By the way. I'm keeping that. She didn't want you to see her like that. She just wanted you to focus on your work. That was <sighs> the only thing that mattered to her. What's that? Oh my God. That's so fascinating, son. <laughs> Oh my god. I don't want to cry. <sighs> oh my god. That doesn't make any sense. But I can paint. <laughs> I love it. That really doesn't make any sense. Look. It's unbelievable, Benny. It's like she's standing in the room with us. Like I can see her in the pain. Well, I want, don't you go away, Dad. Please stay. Ah, oh, the passing day. <clears throat> Inspired by the musical uh, composition of his late mother, the composer L. Stevens, <clears throat> relatively unknown in her life, Bryn lifted his mother's work out of obscurity, of obscurity with the creation of this piece. She is now considered to be one of the great composers of our time. Oh. Oh hi! I just can't believe that my entire childhood I was living next to a bona fide <laughs> genius. I know. I should have guessed it. I mean with all those little drawings you did. <laughs> Remember when you still drew my portrait even when I begged <gasps> you not to? I can still do that. You were such a little jerk back then. And so are you. And your mom. 
I always heard her playing piano from next door. I know. But I did. Oi. Hey, so not to be forward, but what are you doing after this? Maybe we could get a drink or something? Yes, I want to paint you like one of my French girls. Let's go. I'd really love to catch up. I, I can't believe everything that's happened to you. I want to hear all about it. Oh my god. Oh. Now would you look at that? <laughs> oh, the guy. Believe my luck. <sighs> <laughs> you finally hit the jackpot, Flapjack. With all the nobody nothings dying every day, you finally sink your hook into a. Whoa! I want my there mom back. You are. Well, Please. Hello, sir. If I realized hello. I would have cleaned up, I'm just used to fishing up a different class of soul. <laughs> I mean, sure, I've had scientists, a couple college athletes here or there, but... Whew, an internationally renowned painter? Yeah. The gatekeeper's gonna eat you up. Don't hey, eat me up. Speaking of that, why don't we give your story a test run? Maybe you help me out with the word choice, since, <laughs> you know, I'm still working on that. See if I'm getting all the strokes right, the proper... Composition, if you catch my drift. <laughs> yeah. Forget about it. All right. No, I want to help. Here we go. Gatekeeper, before you stands the soul of a great man. Wow. Now, would you describe yourself as a, a happy kid or a lonely one? Happy. I was very happy. His childhood was a happy one, growing up in a loving home raised by loving parents in a quaint village by the sea. And, uh, what'd you say your mom was? A composer or an accountant? A composer. His by heart. His mother was a composer who, with the need to support her family, took a job as an accountant. How would you describe her as a teacher? More encouraging or demanding? Kind of like your Oh, but both. Or, or more like a taskmaster. Both. Both, but... Therefore, as his piano teacher, she was ever encouraging, teaching him to recognize the greatness within. Yeah. How about that neighbor girl? Huh? Oh, Chloe. Oh, she to you. Was she your best friend or first love? Now be honest here. Now don't be bashful, man. You can tell me. Best friend? I called her my girlfriend. <laughs> became the only thing he truly cared about. Even more than his best friend, Chloe. And although he gave it everything he Wait, had... Wait, what? He was still rejected from the conservatory his mother desperately wanted. Now, you, from that moment forward, did you ask about Chloe? gave up on him. She knew he didn't have what it took <gasps> to be a truly great musician. Oh, did she ask about my... She know, what? She just picked the wrong medium, right? Yeah. See, when he was 12 years old, he got sick. And he had to stay inside for an entire year. Oh. In that year, he rediscovered a talent he'd forgotten. Painting. Sure, he loved finger painting as a child. Color and shape were the first languages he learned to speak. But for the first time, he saw it in a more serious light. He was accepted into an exclusive art school where he caught the eye of an esteemed professor who launched his work into the national spotlight. Now be quiet, oh. With expectations on his career mounting, he stalled himself into bankruptcy, which turned out to be a blessing, for it wasn't until he returned home to the house he grew up in that he began work on what would ultimately be considered his masterpiece. Yes. Shut up, you 
You dumb dogs! You lucky fowls! Oh. All right! I get it! I hear what you say. <gasps> the gates. I hear what you're saying. I'd assume as much anyway. I should probably tell you. Those things, they're not regular gulls. They're liar birds. They're what, what becomes of souls who try to lie to the gatekeeper. And once they try that, they're never allowed near her city again. I get to feeling bad for not defending them right, so they just stay on with me. Living Ooh. reminders of my there are shortcomings. Good thinking. I'll be back to get you once I'm done with this one. Can I? Do I turn into a seagull? Seeing him again. Okay. You're a flea-bitten sap. You know that. Just look at him. Poor fool doesn't know what he's in for. Wait, me? Are you talking about me? What am I in for? Hey! Now don't think that I haven't dealt with people like you. You're ashamed of something. Something so terrible. I should have picked up the phone. Blink right past it. Because if the gatekeeper knew, she'd have to dream up fresh new hells to punish someone as worthless as you. And I'm sure you're right. I'm sure you're the rottenest soul that I ever fished out of that black muck. And I should have thrown you back and sanitized my paw as soon as I let Oh, I, I tried to out. blink. But it's too late for that. We're in this together. And the gatekeeper, she'll see right through your fake lies as if they were glass. So I'm going to ask you again to start from the very beginning. And this time, I want the truth. Okay. The same. Mm hmm. Wow. <laughs> um. This turned dark really fast. Um, and I think uh, this is kind of a short, shorter one. But I think we're going to do the next bit. Well, uh, probably the last bit. Um, yeah, in the next part. Um, <clears throat> I'm not sure if we're going to like start all over again. Uh, or what's going to happen but uh, our happy child story turned really sad there for a moment um, that's life I guess um, but yeah I'm excited to see what's going to happen next and I hope you're excited too uh, we'll see you in the next part <laughs>